Hello and welcome to Islander Robotics. As today we talk about how to install the artificial intelligent library TensorFlow onto the Jetson Nano. So go find your favorite place to sit back and relax with your favorite snack and let's get started, shall we? Alright, so here we are. And my preferred way to communicate with my Jetson Nano is to open an SSH tunnel into my um, Jetson Nano, which is what we have right here. And in order, to, the first thing we're going to do to start off installing TensorFlow is sudo at <clears throat> get update. Now this is the word. This is the exact order we're going to be doing all these commands. All right, and all these commands will also be down in the description bar down below. Also. So don't worry about trying to pause the video, copy exactly what I say so that you can um don't worry about pausing the video so that you can type down everything I am typing. Just go down to the description bar and copy and paste it for your Jetson Nano. But the next thing we're gonna do is also install these dependencies TensorFlow requires for its installation. And then why? While this is loading, I'm just going to explain real quick. NVIDIA does have two websites that clearly describes how to install TensorFlow onto their JetBot OS. However, this library has been causing a lot of people issues, and the reason being is because of how that library was originally designed for Python 2. Python 2 stopped getting um, updates as of January 2020. So because of that, um, so because of that, the Python organization had to start making backends for this library so that it can be interpreted fully by Python 3. Where before it was half Python 3, half Python 2, so they kind of incorporate each other. Those backends that Python that the Python organization created is causing some issues for the installation of this library. And so what we're going to do in order to get around this is as always we're going to install the pip package which is this command right here and that is sudo app get install python3 pip Bye. And then, so I'm going to fast forward through this portion of the video because I think it's going to take a little bit. All right, so now that the PIP package is installed onto your Jetson Nano, the next thing I want to do is actually upgrade that PIP command just to make sure that it is fully up to date and that is the command is sudo pip3 install dash capital U and then pip alright that's just gonna make like I said it's gonna make sure that everything is fully up to date on your Jetson Nano and this usually doesn't take very long and then bada bing bada boom now this is how we're gonna get now this comes to the part of how we're gonna get around and so how we're going to accomplish installing the H5 PY library without having any issues and that is just simply by running this command sudo pip3 test resources setup tools equals 49.60 so the reason why we're downloading exactly setup tools 49.6.0 is because this version of, of setup tools was around when Python 2 was around. So therefore it has the necessary tools to build a Python 2 library. However, we're going to also need to install the latest version of setup tools so that it can install libraries like NumPy, Future, Mock, and all the other libraries required for TensorFlow. So we have to, so when we install the newest version of setup tools, what it's going to do is essentially yes, update setup tools, but as well as 
all the portions of Python 2 are going to be left alone. They're not going to be deleted. The section of Python 2 that's required to build the H5 PY library is still going to be inside of the setup tools, setup tools library so that we can still build um, some type of version of H5 PY. So, enough of me blabbering. Just install these required libraries for TensorFlow. And then this is going to take a little bit. Right after this, actually, right after this command, um, we can actually install. While all these libraries are installing onto the Jetson Nano, I'm just going to take the time to further explain how we're going to get the H5PY library onto the Jitsun Nano. And the simplest way to actually, I'm going to try explaining it in the simplest way. Like I stated before, the H5PY library now relies on backends to fully communicate, for the full library to communicate with Python 3. So the parts of the uh, H5PY library that was originally designed for Python 2, those sections of that library re rely on backends to communicate with Python 3. So what we're going to do to essentially get around the H5PY library set um, issue is we're going to install H5PY version 2.9 which was the version of um, H5PY that relied equally on Python 2 and Python 3. So it didn't require any backend of during this version. This allows us to actually install partially H5PY library. Then to overcome the backend is what we're going to do is we're going to when we use this command to install TensorFlow, it is going to first install its own backend. Its own, TensorFlow actually has its own um, backend called Brazil. Brazil is a backend specifically designed for TensorFlow. Now, when Brazil is finished installing, it's going to then start installing TensorFlow. TensorFlow is going to call for the newest version of the H5PY library for it to be installed. When that installation does occur, that is when the H5PY library is going to piggyback off of TensorFlow's Brazil. All right, so now enough of me rambling. We're gonna copy paste this because the library, because the installation was successful of all the required Python libraries. And now with this command, we're going to install TensorFlow. And I'll see you guys, I'll see you all when TensorFlow is installed and I'll show you how to actually test if TensorFlow was successfully installed onto your Jetson Nano. show you all how to test if your TensorFlow was properly installed and that is just P Python 3 gets you into a Python 3 IDE and then import tensorflow Flow as TF successfully opened dynamic library, and then when we get the error, there we go. Print TF dot and let's see what version we got. 2.3.1. As of the time of this video being recorded, that is the most up-to-date version of TensorFlow. So if you followed all the steps I gave to you guys step by step, this is what the end factor will be. So all the code that I used to install TensorFlow onto my Jetson Nano will be down in the description bar down below. As well as if you learned something or and or enjoyed this video, please consider that hitting that like button. This is the first of many TensorFlow videos I will be producing for all of you. So if you're new to this channel and you enjoy watching videos about TensorFlow, artificial intelligence, machine learning, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that bell icon right next to it. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below as well as if you want to see any other if you want to see any other how-to videos of how to install 
TensorFlow onto a Raspberry Pi, MacBook Pro, a Windows computer. Leave that down in the comment section down below. I'll be glad to produce a video like that for you, for all of you if enough of you um, are interested in it. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.